I'm Paul Dove and this is Emily Dove from Bargo and this is our 1924 Super Sentinel steam wagon. And it started life in Melbourne and it uh, worked for Ted Flower delivering brown coal around Melbourne. Uh, in 1939 Walter Berry from Trundle out of the Central West wanted to beat the petrol rationing and he went to Melbourne to buy a steam truck and it took three months to drive home because every time he, he drove it he just set bushfires everywhere and then when it rained he got it bogged. Uh, it was a dismal failure on the farm, he only used it to deliver bags a week to the railhead. He had a big broad acre property out west and the family still own the farm now. And then in 1967 Bob McLeod uh, bought it and drove it into Trundle, put it on a flat wagon and took it to Cowra. Uh, from there Clary Wallace bought it in 79. He did the bulk of the timber work and everything that's blue now he restored back in, uh, in the mid 90s. And uh, he ran it for a few years and then uh, the boiler blew a tube and uh, needed a rebuild and we bought it 18 months ago and we spent all that time rebuilding the boiler and um, finally this is its first show. We got a boiler ticket two weeks ago so this is the first weekend that in our family ownership we've had the wagon here. Okay so this type of wagon is called an under type wagon where they've got a vertical boiler in the cab and the engine's actually under the wagon so easily said where the Foden and Avelings have got an over type where the engine sits on top of the locomotive boiler. This is a vertical water tube boiler running at 230 pounds per square inch and uh, like I said I've just had all the front off this wagon out and fully rebuilt the boiler, new tube, new collector ring, all new studs and a few other repairs as well. Um, so it's a 70 brake horsepower twin cylinder simple steam engine where a lot of the other traction engines had a compound this is a simple engine. You've got the cylinders at the front, the valves are at the very front they're a thimble valve not like a slide valve or piston valve in another normal steam engine. Has trunk guides and a crankcase. The What's an unusual feature about this engine is it's actually got a differential within the crankshaft. So it's got a, a shaft within a shaft and it's got friction clutches, so it's a limited slip differential. And you've got twin chains driving each back wheel. The back axle is actually dead and the wheels revolve around bronze bushes and on the sprockets on the back of the brake drums. And a little box here is a cylinder lubricator with a sentinel badge on it. And the injector at the front is for the tipping body. It's actually a three-way tipping body. So depending on which pins we pull out, we can tip over the back or over each side. And that's just an injector control, there's no pump or anything. It's a single speed wagon, it was designed to do 12 miles an hour. Um, but I went into town yesterday and it was sort of comfortable sitting around 15 or 16 miles an hour. So it's uh, quite quick on the road compared to a 4 miles an hour with a traction engine. My name's Paul uh, Shaw from Berrimer. I'd like to introduce you to my 1924 Dodge ute that the family and I restored uh, with help from my brother. Um, it's a four cylinder, three speed, um, 24 inch tyres on it. it uh, I, firstly I acquired it from a fella, fella from work up in Charmhaven, New, Newcastle. Um, it was a total pull apart job. There was four wheels and a chassis and that was it. Brought it home on the back of a truck with um, helping my brother and the car trailer and bits and pieces. And then it was a massive jigsaw. Pull it, uh, put it all together, work out where, what went where. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, everything was painted green. The timber was green, the wheels were green, uh, even down to the steering wheel. It was, which in one respect preserved it. Um, because as you can see, the timber worked pretty good on it. The, the actual, um, took the back to the line blasters. He sand, uh, line blasted it. And then I come home from work and the wife's on the belt sander going for it. So that was a, a blessing in disguise. And then, um, yeah, I, I'm a boiler maker by trade. So I did all, all the metal work myself. Did the panel beating, the front guard was all punched in. So I panel beaded all that on the left hand side. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to do anything to the motor. It was all up and running, it it's, uh, runs on vacuum tank, got a Holly Carby manufactured for Dodge Brothers, um, it's got the uh, um, starter generator on it, it's uh, still running on the Maggie, um, yeah, there's no electric fuel pump, no nothing on it. So, but uh, all in all it took us 22 months to restore, uh, it was a, a massive job, uh, but uh, yeah that's the finished product. I did all the hood for us. Um, meanwhile, my brother did the bows and helped with the, the running rails and the, the, the tailboard at the back. Um, yeah, the kids did all the did, well, spokes on the wheels, put them over a garbage tin, they had the sandpaper going for it. So it was a big 
family affair. Yeah, he did, uh, did a little stint with the movies in town with Leonardo and, and Toby Maguire on The Great Gatsby. That was um, something awesome, that was different. Um, that, that hence uh, uh, the sign writing and that on it, that's what they had in the movie. So, but, um, but no, no, it's, um, it's a pleasure to drive, it's, 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 it's really nice. And to, it's just a head turner, I get the enjoyment out of seeing people smile and look at it and turn their head, wow, look at that. Thank you for watching Truck Stop TV. Please remember to subscribe and see you at the next Truck Stop.